Welcome everyone to another Fox Tech video. This time we have the iPad in front of us and we talk about Safari right now because I want to talk about the topic or the issue you may have which is related to clearing history on your Safari. So for some reason you perhaps may be limited to do so. Like perhaps if you go ahead and open up the settings and just go to the Safari section you may notice that the button is simply not there or it's grayed out, it's not clickable for whatever reason and there are some things which could apply to it so yes I, I will show you exactly what you need to do about it and the reason why it's happening is most likely because of some kind of restriction going on inside of your iPad so for example at first if you just want to make sure that everything runs smoothly without any restrictions what you could do is to actually open up the screen time section in here and you can see content and privacy restrictions now this thing should definitely be turned off. Well, there are many things which could apply. When you have this option enabled, you can go through this and like, for example, go to the allowed apps and turn off Safari altogether, or you can just mess with the, with the web content and limiting search and this kind of stuff. Many different things can be going on in here, but if you wanna make sure that no restrictions apply to your iPad, just go in here go to this section and turn off content and privacy restrictions altogether, and then come back to the main Safari section and try to clear the website data again this could very likely show solve the problem for you because yeah this is like one of the most common most common things by the way guys if you want to know everything about your iphone apps you have to click the link down below in the description it's a 100 percent free education platform where i publish like video editing courses there is going to be the all apps explained course which is coming up it's going to explain every single app on your iphone it's going to be really cool so go ahead and check out that link it's free to access so yeah go ahead and do that right now the next thing would be to actually disable the screen time altogether. Because the, not only content and privacy restrictions could apply to Safari, but also, for example, app limits, or perhaps you don't have some allowed apps, perhaps something is messing around in here. So what you can do again is to go to the screen time section and scroll all the way to the bottom and tap on turn off screen time. You may be required to type in a passcode. It depends on how you have it set up, but make sure to do that and disable the screen time altogether, then come back to Safari once again, I mean Safari in the settings, and see if you can now reset the website data and history. So you should definitely do that. And even if you have done all these things and it still doesn't work, I would recommend you to uh, go to the settings, general, transfer or reset iPad, reset network settings. That's what I would do. Definitely helps in the long run to resolve issues with the, uh, of course, with the connection and stuff. So I would definitely go ahead and do that to see if anything has changed. These were most of the things which you can do. Besides that, you can always just reset the iPad and of course, update the Safari on your uh, on your iPad because of course if you go ahead and open up the settings go to the general and a software update you can install an update which is going to apply to the entire iPad so it's going to be the iPad OS the latest version and as you probably know updating iPad OS includes updating Safari by extension because you can really open up the App Store and then download an update for the web browser you can only update it through a, the entire iPad OS update so you can see for example this new version includes many different things, including messages, FaceTime, health, but you can see that also Safari has its own section, meaning that this update also includes new things for Safari for the web browser. So this is something I would pay attention to and keep in mind, but I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Thank you very much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and found it usable. Make sure to hit the thumbs up down below and definitely subscribe so you don't miss next videos about your ipad and the tech that you use thanks a lot for watching peace out until the next video